Right, hello guys, hey, welcome back. It is now Monday, the 27th of February. Uh, so we're at the end of February now. Uh, as you can see, hopefully out there, it's a little bit grey. Uh, it's a bit of a cold week this week. Uh, we're all getting hit with a bit of a cold breeze coming from that. I think it's coming from down from the northeast, uh, something like that. And uh, it's bringing a bit of a bit of a nip with it. Uh, so I, I got the power heater on. Still, everything's ticking over nicely inside here. So I'm pleased with it. Uh, like I said, there, uh, guys, we're coming to the end of February now. So I'm planning on doing some tomato seeds. I'm going to start a new, the uh, first batch of tomatoes. Uh, if I planned it right, hopefully they've got a good eight weeks before they go into the final position pots or whatever, you know what I mean? So, it's either going to be going in the pony tunnel inside of some pots and stuff, or they're going to be going inside of here and some pots or grow bags, we haven't decided just yet. Uh, so, hopefully I've got the towns right, and that means the tomatoes are not going to be hanging around for too long. I am going to sow them here, down in the greenhouse, and then I will be taking them up home and uh, just setting them set on the windowsill. Till they start to come through, I let them grow on a little bit till they get about that size and then I start going through them. I prick them out and I put them into some single pots so they've got the one of the pot and then what I do then is I bring them down to the greenhouse. It's a little bit more warmer at home uh, so I guarantee get a should guarantee get a germination on the seed. So I've got some rosella. So this is like a little cherry tomato, a rosella. So Rosella, uh, I got these given as a plant when I first took this plot on by another, by another plot holder and obviously it was the first season so I didn't really have any any way to put them or now like that. Uh, I don't know if I was doing the recordings with diaries then, the first year, I think it was the second year when I decided to do that. Uh, but they never really came to much. I did get a couple of tomatoes on, there were just a couple, a couple of... Uh, like a dark brown tomato lovely absolutely lovely well dead sweet uh, so now i've got a bit of a better idea i'm thinking about giving them another go and just seeing how they get on because they are nice tomato anyway, but now i've got an idea uh, i will try and grow them again so i'm not going to do loads of different varieties this year guys because i've got plans for we tunnels hopefully i'm going to have some leaks and stuff i'm taking a bit of a risk like right, because i'm hiring leaks in and there are for the shows and stuff but they could bolt and stuff and cut the nothing, you know, and I, I just feel like I'm wasting a bit of a space where I could put the markers and stuff. So I haven't decided how many leaks I'm putting inside of the pony tunnel just yet. Uh, but we'll see. So I'm not going to do a great deal of tomatoes. I'm just doing, I'm only doing about two variety. And I think my dad's doing a couple of variety as well. Uh, I think he's doing like the little tumble toms, the little bonsai miniature plants and that, you know, which are perfect for little patios and especially in a greenhouse like this where you haven't really got much room you just got benching and stuff you know uh, Tigerella never really grew a Tigerella before so I thought I'd give them a shot you know 75 pence can't go wrong yeah so I thought I'd give them a shot and all so they're the two variety that I'm doing these look like a medium size standard these are yeah, standard size tomatoes so that's a normal size and these are cherry so i've got a bit of both you know i don't do the big beef steaks or now like that i don't need i don't need bar with them i don't need them this sort of stuff i like the munch on so i want to do a couple of these i have got some early peas yeah but i'm just holding off i'm just holding off i'm just waiting just a couple, maybe a couple more days or something i'm not going to do these just yet but not long I'm going to be setting them away very soon uh, I have got some cucumbers so there we go so I'm not too, too sure how many seed you get into this pack because it hasn't doesn't really oh they have 10 seed I got an app out there. So I might sow two of them, three of them, and just leave them inside of the, the greenhouse here. Anything comes from them. Because these are like the warm, you know what I mean? Uh, but once they get going, they should get going. I, I struggled last year with uh, cucumbers. I did have a cucumber plant, uh, 
you know, and I was getting cucumbers off it, but it, didn't, it just didn't grow as big as the one I had the year before, and it wasn't just it wasn't producing the fruits as, as quick as, as the one I had the year before. So I'm gonna try these again and just see how I get on, because now I know I've got eight weeks, and fingers crossed, it should be all right. So that's what I'm gonna be sewing today. So what I do is I spin the camera around. Uh, I set a little bench up, and I just show you. I just show you what I, how I do it, and what I do. Okay, so I set set up. Right, guys, let's get started. So this is just a multi-purpose compost. It's what I got lying around inside of the greenhouse. Good material. It's a, it's clover. Uh, it's really good. So I'm just sitting it for we hands a little bit, just getting some of the big bigger lumps out, you know. Just some of the, the compost will come get crushes together, you know, compress together. I'm just cleaning it up. So we've got like three pots, all the same size. Just filling them up to the brim. Like that, and I just put that on the top. Right then, so Rosella. So these are Rosella, these are cherry. Just seeing if it tells us how many seed you got in the pack. Can't even see it. Well, yeah, I must say these are lovely. When I uh, made tried them the last time, even though the plant wasn't the best of. But this time, fingers crossed. Oh, you didn't get many seed like. So I need to just use this dabber. I'm just dabbing. Holes there like that just for some nooks and crannies. Part the fall in too. One, two, three, four. The seed are tiny. So it's about 14 seeds, watch this one in there. Which is perfect. What I'll do is I'll just hide that on top of there so I know that's that one. I'll just put it over there. So yeah, that's a lot of seed, that's a lot of seed inside of that one pot, but that's absolutely fine. These will grow like that and some of them might get laggy and stuff, uh, but I'm not worried about that because when I put them into their own pots, uh, after they've been in here for a little bit and I've transplanted them into to, to their own pots, 
uh, I will be putting them deep because on a tomato plant you've got a lot of hairs on the on the stem and them hairs turn at the roots so the more you bury the plant but be very careful on water because if you give it too much water it will just rot it away but if you you know keep an eye on it and watch how you water it and stuff like that 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 stem gets nice and strong in the compost cut the hairs turn into roots and also it helps it to keep it anchored into the ground so the more that anchored into the ground your tomato plant the more can hold the weight of the tomatoes so that plant will develop nice big juicy tomatoes so that's the theory so bury them deep bury them deep so these will grow you know then i just empty this whole pot out and i just go through them all and i just put them into the, each pot and once i've done that i'll bring them down to the garden and when they come down to the garden they may get hit a little bit with the cold a little bit a little bit of a shock I slow the plant down a little bit but i'm not bothered about that because it make the plant nice and strong I get used to the temperatures and then by the time it goes in the potty tunnel and all that it pick up and it take off and it'll be perfect so that's one batch there done so it's going to be the same again the next one which is the tigerella 50 seed in here so i'll probably not be doing all these but there you go so same again i haven't given that any water just yet because i'm just going to give it a, a little bit of water later on and then you just get a little bottle or something not water using water i can because it just smashed my lower it doesn't matter anyway as you can see there that's just roughly just going in like that it's just so they just fall into the little nooks and little crannies that's all so never really grow these ones i like the look of them like i do like the look of them i'm not doing the whole pack on these i just probably just do roughly about what i had in there 14 15 I might just do a couple of, couple of zones with them later on, you know. Some more. Spread them out, see if anyone wants any. People like to stay, pass things around and all that on the plot and share stuff and things, you know. So, it's nice to pass some of your plants on and stuff for that people so I'll have that one on there so I know which is a witch go there so cucumbers I'm just going to do three, three cucumbers it's probably a little bit early still for the cucumbers but I'm just going to go for it anyway because like I say, this is the first little shot getting the eye jab with timing. So I know that I've done start sowing seed at the end of February. And then we'll see how we get on, see if anything happens. So I can monitor it. Because I'm all over the place with the timings and stuff. It's a nightmare. Because I hate to say stuff sitting around for too long in pots and things because it causes them to fall and things. There's two seed there. So I'm just going to just hide four seed of these in. And on, on these seed, yeah, I just, it just goes to the side like that. I don't even see that. I put it aside. I don't lie flat because it could rotten, could rot. So I put it on the side like that. So it's a bit like that. And there we have it. Feel come back. Sweet. 
Right, so what it is, I'll pop you on pause now, guys. I could get some water, like some water, and I finish it off, okay? Right, guys, so there you have them Rosella, Tigerella, and a couple of cucumbers. So, obviously, the cucumbers I'm just going to leave down here, and the rest I'll, I'll just saw when I get home. So the cucumbers are just stay here. And the rest of the seed, uh, I'm just gonna take home and then uh, just wait till it warms up a little bit more and then I might sow some more, you know, maybe it's in a couple of weeks time or something like that, middle of, middle of March or something like that. See how these get on, see how these come through. These come through, I sow some more. The uh, tigerella, I have got some more seed of that left, so I probably will sow some more of them in a couple of weeks' time. I'm just going to have just a little douse there, because these, these will be coming home. Like I say, these are going to sit on my windowsill. And then once I transplant them into the new pots, then I will be bringing them back down to the garden. So there we go. So like I say guys, I've got a few other stuff that I want to be sown. Uh, hopefully not too long now. Some peas. Got a load of seed down here some different flowers and stuff. I had to go and pick some club root resistant uh, calabrese. Uh, that's for plot two because uh, we've obviously got club root down there so I'm going to put some of this out and just see how this gets on. Uh, I'm going to look for some uh, club root cabbages and stuff like that. I have got some cauliflowers so which is the F1s I like to grow. Got them there, not long now we'll be getting them soon. Also I have got some summer cabbages here as well, golden acre. Tried to grow these last year but obviously they got tapped by the club roots so it's going to be more for this plot up here to grow these because they should grow fine up, set up here. So happy days. And obviously I've got some spring onions and, and stuff like that. So. Slowly going through the stuff bit by bit in March and start sowing seed. But the next bit of seed I'm going to be sowing will be some peas. Right, and guys, so next thing I'm going to be sowing is some peas. I uh, might do that through the week or I might do that on the weekend, haven't decided just yet. Uh, if you do follow, follow us, uh, Last year when I grew some peas down on the new plot uh, I put some like mesh up and stuff like that and strings and uh, they grew up and it, I used it as like divide the plots up and uh, they grew fantastic so I bought myself some mesh and I'm gonna these plots up here I'm gonna divide in half and I'm just gonna run the mesh all the way along and then finger cross we'll get some peas put out and uh, we'll have some nice peas up here and also we'll get a couple of trays, a couple of mushroom trays of peas because uh, they're absolutely stunning and uh, everyone at home loves the peas so yeah so there we go guys uh, just a quick little video there just uh, you sh me showing you uh, me sowing some seed <laughs> some tomatoes and stuff so the tomatoes are going to go home cucumbers are going to just sit down here and just tick on nicely uh, so there we go guys, uh, cheers for watching, cheers for all your likes and stuff, really, really appreciate it. What I do guys is I will give you a little update uh, next weekend uh, through the week. I'll try and do some videos through the week and show you what's actually going on. Uh, because like I say, not on now and we're going to start be sowing some like seed and it's just the pay, it's just preparing the ground, uh, getting everything sorted, you know, so 
things are coming along nicely now. Uh, March, March is going to be a good a good month. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more work, uh, getting right in there, getting everything ready, ready to go. Okay, guys, because there's going to be a lot of seed getting sown this year, because I'm hoping to do a lot of flowers and all for the wildlife section, because I have been adding perennial, uh, different perennial plants to the wildlife section, but I keep you all updated on that, uh, hopefully on the weekend. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys, so cheers for now, and I'll speak to you this soon.